What is a logbook? It is a book in which someone records detail and event relating to something. In aviation, there are different kind of logbook like aircraft logbook, engine logbook, propeller logbook, pilot logbook. Likewise, for aircraft maintenance personnel, we have aircraft maintenance engineer logbook. We record all type of maintenance activity we do or we get trained under and experience we gain in course of time. Starting from your aviation career as student, trainee, technician and AME. It is very important document in our AME field as it act as a proof of experience we gain and it is one of the mandatory requirement which is maintained by trainee or technician seeking job or applying for basic AML license or as an AME who is applying for type rating endorsement extension of category or removing any type of limitations. Hi, I am in aircraft maintenance field and I have been maintaining this logbook for more than 10 years. So I will be discussing with you how to fill and maintain your AME logbook in correct way. I am also running a YouTube channel called Chalks on to Chalks Off where I am posting aircraft maintenance technical video on live aircraft. So don't forget to visit the channel and do subscribe both the channel for more amazing video. Let's get our video started. This is aircraft maintenance engineer logbook which is published by Sterling Bookhouse. It is available on Amazon as well as uh, the Sterling Bookhouse website. You can order it online and check the link in description. So here you will be writing your name and then the logbook number. This uh, logbook contains limited pages so if you are maintaining more than 4 to 5 years or uh, even after that you, will, you may need uh, to make more than one logbook. So you, here you write one and then subsequent second and third. This is the first page, same as cover page, you will write your name and logbook number and this is the website and the, the detail about Sterling Book House. The, another page of our logbook, the, it mentioned with work order column. So I will explain you later on why we need this work order column and what is its importance. Third page, CR6 is a general requirement. So it states that this logbook has been compiled and complied with all DGCA requirements. Information for use, you can read it uh, yourself. I'll just go through the main point. All entries in this logbook shall be made in ink. So it is recommended you always use the blue ink and uh, the pen should be of good quality because you, after four to five years, you don't want the pen imprint on the pages uh, below. The date shall be entered in DDMMYY. Okay. The logbook owner has to certify each page of the logbook with his her signature for proving the authenticity. Then you can just read it here. At the time of publication for the license, any false entry identified by the DGCA would be considered an offense. So always make sure you're not making any false entry or any fake entries or the entries which you're copying from your friends when you were not present on that day. Because if DGC is confirmed across checking with the QC and it uh, finds a false entry, then maybe your application will be rejected or maybe you will be banned for uh, the limited period. So you can just go through all other details. Page 4. So page 5. Completion of the logbook. So page 6. The personal detail will go through each one uh, when we get the page later on. So page 7 personal detail page 8 is blank so here is the personal detail page 9 so you will be filling out all your personal detail if you have a computer number your name address and other card pen card everything name of current employer so here if you are not employed to any company no need to write this you can just leave it blank and this is most important logbook owner name and signature so just make sure you are filling it all correctly now page 10 this personal details change permanent address so in case in future if you're changing your permanent address of address of communication you will be mentioning it over here so page 11 and 12 contains the record of training so here you will be starting your uh, column with the aviation course anything related to your aviation course you will be writing here so first you will be writing your 147 training 
the type of training completed it will be aircraft engineering from 147 approved college the training establishment and location so you will be writing your college name and then the location from and to your uh, the training period and the result will normally be passed so other than that if you are doing any human factor course or any e-waste course or any the fuel tank safety course, air side safety course, aviation security, there are a hell lot of course. So whatever course you do and you hold the certificate, you will have to mention it over here. It gives a good impression when the logbook is seen by the DGC authority or any interviewer. Here you will be writing your name and signature for authenticity. Page 12 contains same as page 11, you can fill it. Page 13, 14, 15, 16 contains detail of employer organization at which engaged in aircraft maintenance. So even if you are not employed in any company, if you are undergoing any training like in Air India or anywhere else, you will be mentioning it over here. From and to date position, if you are as a trainee tech, junior tech or apprentice, you can mention it, the position and nature of work done like line maintenance, base maintenance or at workshop. The type of aircraft or other product you are uh, working on and your confirmation of the organization normally it is done by QC when you are applying normally in Yasa but if you are going under undergoing the training in uh, Air India or anywhere else then the QC may not be able to do this so what you can do is take the manager the aircraft means like a shift in charge or a manager level uh, you can uh, write down his name signature position and stamp and the date will normally be the last date of your training completion so like that after one after one organization if you are going to another organization as a trainee you can just fill it the same thing over here so they have given you the four pages you can just keep on adding uh, the number of companies you are changing and uh, suppose uh, you are uh, current currently employed in any go air if you go spicer any company so you just write the from date to date you can uh, leave it blank and at the time of uh, applying means you are using you are giving your logbook to any DGC you can just write uh, till date or at the, the date of application you can just mention it over here the date of application page 17 declaration so I hereby confirm that the information contained in this logbook is correct at the time of application. So if you are using this logbook for applying for basic license, uh, the last date or the last date of this experience recorded or at the time of application you have to mention that date over here. So place signature, date and name. So page 19, maintenance experience on job training. Here are the list of things which you can uh, write down in this logbook and the task code the self explanate this is the most important page where you will be writing your actual experience and the work you do we will discuss this in detail in next part of this video how to fill it what details are needed what is the format of the details how to make multiple entries from single amm task card so stay tuned for part 2 thank you for watching